Harry, who, crowds cheer in a rare joint engagement between Charles and William as the king gives the Prince of Wales command of Harry's former regiment and leaves out the Duke of Sussex in his farewell speech, sparking a dispute over why they really didn't meet. Just as the Sussexes arrived in the UK from Nigeria, King Charles gave Prince William command of his former army regiment during their first joint engagement since 2022. At a ceremony held this afternoon at the Army Aviation Center in Hampshire, His Majesty appointed his eldest son and Air Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps, the combat aviation branch of the British Army. The day Harry left Nigeria after a three-day pseudo-royal tour with his wife Meghan, father and son laughed as Charles gave William an Army Air Corps beret and belt as the Prince of Wales faced his younger brother's former unit, the 662 Squadron. It was widely believed that the Duke of Sussex, who flew Apache helicopters with 662 SQN in Afghanistan, would have accepted the position until he decided to leave the royal life in 2020 and immigrate to the United States. However, Charles neglected to bring up Harry who flew the same aircraft in Afghanistan during two tours of duty during a speech given today in front of an Apache helicopter. Rather, he praised William as a very good pilot indeed, which sparked laughter, followed by the comment, so that's encouraging. I do hope you'll go from strength to strength with the Prince of Wales as your new colonel-in-chief, the king continued. How proud I am to have been involved with you all this time is beyond words. After donning his new uniform and blue beret, William was given three wooden helicopters for George, Charlotte, and Louis, an Army Air Corps tartan wrap for the Princess of Wales, and a scarf for himself. Later, he drove off in an Apache.